Hello YouTube, this is Bash bringing you here for another draft here. We are we just entered into BPL, uh King Division, which is the top division, and I believe it is season eleven, right? Yep, season eleven. And we actually played there last season, it was really a lot of fun, so I, I decided to come back. And since WPF ended, I decided to upload the season, which is gonna be really hype. So, yeah, um, really good, really awesome people there. Uh, definitely a, a place to check out. But yeah, this team we decided to go with got very interesting, I would say the least. Um, some things to note before we get into the, the draft this is the Natex draft. There is a Terra attack, so, like, if you want to Terra, um, you can have max two Terra mods, and if you want to Terra Pokemon, you have to pay extra for that Terramon depending on the price that it was set that was like set like assigned ahead of time for the Terra price so say like I believe um well I guess we could go into it a little bit but um say like uh I know uh, Annihilate right was 16 points regular but with Terra it becomes 22 points so and that takes away from your regular budget um, some other things to note, it's Nat deck, so, uh, return, pursue, all that shenanigans are allowed, but, not only on that, on top of that, but this is one that was really interesting, is the fact that Hidden Power is actually allowed in this league, which, not sure how I feel about that yet, um, should be interesting though, it definitely opens up a lot of situations for different, um, Pokemon, I think, specifically, like, um, things I was thinking about was, like, Terra Superior would be kind of crazy with Hidden Power and Terra Blast, right? So now it has extra coverage, or it could go defensive typing for the um, Terra and then have Hidden Power just to hit the checks, whatever. So something to really note that kind of is scary. Um, and also Electro-types get a huge boost, while things like Gliscor Orlando get like nerfed, right? So that was something to note, and I believe... Revival Blessing is allowed, if I remember correctly, but Shed Tail and Last Respects are banned, if I remember correctly, off the top of my head. Um, we also had, um, let me just say real quick, yeah, Shed Tail, Last Respects banned. Um, and then also on top of that, we had 115 points to get our new Pokemon, um, to get all the Pokemon plus the, uh, if you want any Terras, right? Um, yeah. So, we ended up with the 13th pick of the draft, and honestly, the draft in the beginning was going pretty slow. We had some major genres <laughs> in our draft, not gonna lie. Um, but, with the first pick, I was, like, sort of towards the end, so I, I kind of had an idea of what I wanted to do. Um, one thing I really wanted to try this generation was, or this, at least this league, was Terra Iron Border. Um, I feel like some people have been calling it sort of like fraud, but like, I don't know. I feel like it's like a pretty cool mod to use, I guess, per se, but um, I haven't got a chance to use it, obviously, but I feel like it, it like has a lot of ability to put in a lot of work, especially as a setup sweeper kind of situation. So that was something I wanted to keep in mind, but when it came to me, I like didn't know exactly where what to pick with it, I guess. I was a little unsure. Um, because I didn't, I thought Terra Iron Boulder would make it back to me round two, so I decided to go with something that wasn't, that was still around. Uh, specifically, a Pokemon that cannot Terra. Um, so that means like Megas or like certain Pokemon that were banned from it. And we end up getting a very familiar face uh, with this first pick. Um, we all know him. It's Palafin, 19 points. Uh, Palafin's such a staple mon. Like, it's just such a good mon. Um, I'm surprised that it keeps going, like, round two usually in, in like, Nat Dex drafts. But, um, I decided to take it right at the end of round one. And you know what it does. Hits, like, a truck. Obviously, you need to get you need to get in the baby form first. But, um, it has a lot of potential with, like, um, breaking power or setup power, um, utility. Stuff like that. Um, 
even like it's really bulky too so you can run like uh bulky momentum pivoting situations with it um like hit special side etc um this mod is a monster and i'm excited to use it again um I didn't go in, I kind of went into the draft feeling like um, if I got a late pick, I'd want to get like Iron Border Palafin, but like at the same time, <clears throat> I wasn't 100% um, positive on it because I, I was hoping that something, I was, I was wondering if what, something else would fall down. Uh, specifically, I was wondering if like Coco would fall down because that'd be really cool to get with like Terra Iron Border. Um, but of course, that went like first pick overall. Um, uh, Mew was another shout for a possible, uh, pick there, but I, uh, Palfin ended up being the one that I am going with, so, yeah, that's our first pick, and as I mentioned before, um, several times, uh, our, I was hoping to get Terra Iron Boulder, and we in fact did, um, Terra Iron Boulder, Iron Boulder I believe was like around, like, regular Iron Boulder was I believe around... 16 points, yeah, 16 points, and then with Terra, it became 23 points. So, um, seven point jump. Uh, honestly, I'm kind of surprised it was ranked at 16 points without Terra, because I feel like without Terra, it's not that great, but with Terra, it's like really good. Um, the typing is a, the, the typing, I think, is what like kind of leads it down, but something I really liked was that the Palafin was like a really good breaker for the team. Uh, so far, an Iron Border is more of a sweeper kind of situation. Um, but Iron Boulder can, in fact, break, too, as well. Um, the one thing I really like was, like, the the Mighty Cleave, um, which is really um, cool on it because of the fact that, first off, it goes through Protect, and then on top of that, um, it, it's a Rock-type move that doesn't miss. Um, and I believe that it, it is more... Is it more base power, then? I'm trying to remember... No, it's not. Um, it's not. It's the second highest base power rock move that doesn't miss. But um, I think in this one, it's really, really good. Also, in fact, with booster energy, with this, with the speed set it has at one base one twenty four, it's gonna outspeed like pretty much mo the entire meta. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. So I, I really like that part of it. Um, it also has like pretty good. It has some pretty good coverage too. Earthquake, close combat. Um, Mega Horn kind of stuff, Wild Charge, uh, and then of course we have Terra Blast on top of that, which is really good. So I feel like this is a really good pick here, and I think this could put in a lot of work this season. So, yeah, and then the draft was going around, and I was hoping this would fall to me, but I kind of doubted at the same time that it would, um, specifically because. Um, it's a pretty good mod, but I was hoping Lando T would fall to me for some reason, somehow I would be able to fall to me, but of course it got taken this round anyway. And then, so it definitely wasn't making it back to me and I it got to my pick and there was like some really good mods still left. I remember I was debating between like, um, uh, Urshifu single. I was looking at, um, Lando I. I was looking at Annihilate, I was looking at Clefable, um, those were like the ma the big ones I was looking at at least for this pick here. Um, I was also looking at maybe Mascarada because Mascarada is like a pretty good pairing with Palafin, it gets rid of one of the checks too as well to it. So I felt like kind of interested with that. but. Um, I decided to go with this pick, um, partly because I haven't used it since, like, the first league of this generation I played in, and on top of that, I did not use it properly last time, I feel like I, I feel like I could use it more properly this time, and that is Annihilate. Now, Annihilate gives us a lot of different things, right, that I really liked. I, first off, it's my, it's my first hazard setter in the game, uh, in this team right now, and it gives me another form of momentum. Um, obviously, we have like the bulk up, like Rage Fist shenanigans, right? Um, it also has a lot of utility, which I really like it too, including Encore, Taunt, like uh, I could do like the Rest the Chesto kind of scenario. Um, that's something to keep in mind. Um, yeah, I, I just felt like it was really good. And I, I was considering thinking about like tearing this, but I had to see what 
um, the rest of my draft looked like because Annihilate, of course, as I mentioned before, went from 16 to 22 points if I tarot it. So that's something to keep in mind. I also was really, now that I got this, I was really looking at possibly getting a um, hazard stack possible option, at least on the team, because I really wanted, um, because Annihilate was one of the better hazard stack um, blockers. Um, obviously, Kodango is the best, but um, in terms of like, it has Defiant plus Ghost typing is really good in this scenario, at least. But yeah, I think this could be really good on this team. Um, something to also note, um, I even, I didn't even know this until right now, I was looking at this moveset, but, um, it gets Pursuit, which is really cool, because <laughs> some Psyche types might not, might not want to stay in on this kind of situation, right? Um, so I could just Pursuit Trap them, which could be really cool. So, that's something to keep in mind, at least. But, I, yeah, I really like this, uh, uh, Annihilate here, um... I think it's going to provide some utility and also some off like some really good offensive pressure. Um, it's going to make people think twice about clicking certain moves against me, which is really nice as well. So, and that leads me to my fourth pick. Um, may have taken this a little early, which I ended up I think actually saying that like thinking in my mind I I took it early. I'll just explain why. I'll explain why. But um, I feel like this Pokemon paired really well with Palafin. And also is a really good status absorber as well um, for the team. And it hits hard. It's got a pretty good speed tier, right? The, I already have that speed tier, but it's like not a big deal. Um, and that Pokemon is Shaman here. Shaman, uh, on top of that, it's Terra Shaman, which I decided to do Terra Shaman because I couldn't find a way to afford to make an Eye Terra because. Things are expensive. Like the terror tax was expensive. Like, <laughs> um, I just couldn't fit the rest. Of, I couldn't fit the rolls I needed. But um, this has a really good. Um, this is really good for the team at least. Shaman with natural natural cure, which is really good for status absorption uh, stuff for annihilate and palafin and iron boulder. Um, and then it also hits really. It stops like the grass and electrics from doing work against Palafin, while also hitting the bulky waters really hard. And it also stops bulky waters too. But it hits them extremely hard. It has Seed Flare, which is really cool. Which honestly, Terror Grass Seed Flare is gonna hit like a truck if I really want to bring that. Um, and it also gives it coverage. And on top of that, um, Shaman now can hit like things like Scizor, Mega Scizor, like now with Hidden Power Fire, which it didn't couldn't really hit too well before, which is really nice as well. And something to also note is that this also is really nice for Anali because of the fact that I have Healing Wish on this to bring Anali back up to full um, and without the sta uh, getting rid of the status on it too, which is really nice for it. So, yeah, I felt like this was a really good pick here um, to help our team. I might have taken it a little early though, but I felt like I really... I really, I, I think I felt like I really needed this one because I feel like it was, it was the best grass type to pair with the team I already had at this moment. Um, besides like Superior, um, which I didn't want to take Superior again. I just had it recently, um, and I wanted to switch things up, especially since I really wanted to more run Iron Boulder as a Terra because um, I felt like Terra Superior kind of forced it into a situation where I brought I clicked Terra a lot with it instead of like Diggersby in the last draft. So, yeah. So, next pick is going to come around, and I had like a whole plan or based around <clears throat> Thorgus in my next pick, which is, um, which Endless end up, ends up taking. So, we had to scrap that whole draft. It was a really cool draft idea, by the way. It was like, it had Terror, it actually had Terror, um, Iron Jugulus on it originally, instead of like, um, Terror Shaman. It was like regular Shaman at 10 points, but it had Terror Jugulus on the team. Uh, would have been really cool with Thorgus, but. Forgets unfortunately gets taken, so I had to go for <clears throat> this Pokemon instead, and this Pokemon is Screamtail, which I happen to actually snipe Black, who is like the person right behind me uh, in the draft um, with this, and I'm assuming Endless also sniped him with Florgus as well, so I, th I think I heard Zero also got sniped as well with Florgus too, so Florgus was a hot commodity, but... That was part of the reason why I was like, kind of like, mm, maybe I should have grabbed it uh, before Shaman, but um, it is what it is. That's how it. <laughs> we're just gonna roll with it. Uh, Screamtail 
gives me a nice speed tier. Um, splits it helps me uh, fill that speed gap between Iron Boulder and like Shaman Palafin kind of scenario. Um, it gives us a lot of support as well. Wish, which is really nice for uh, Annihilate to keep, keep that healthy as well. Um, and Palafin as well, it's going to be really nasty with that. Um, it has like really nice shenanigans, Encore, Stealth Rocks, T-Wave kind of sh uh, stuff. It has Roar. Um, and it has like nice utility as well with... Um, well, I really like Psychic Noise probably on it too, but... Um, it could set up as well, bulk up kind of stuff. It, obviously, it doesn't hit that hard because of like its attack and sp uh, special attack stats are pretty bad. But I think this Pokemon is a really good um, pivot into an uh, anti setup Pokemon because of Encore shenanigans. Um, it's probably it's able to take most hits to be honest because it's so bulky as a Pokemon. It's so fast as well. Uh, I also really like the momentum aspect of this too, Baton Pass, because I'm expecting like Steel types to usually come in on this. Um, which could get me out into like Annihilate or, pa or Palafin, so that was something to keep in mind. But yeah, I really like this uh, Pokemon here. Um, also has Calm Mind, of course, Shenanigans, but um, yeah, I feel like this really helped uh, support a lot of my higher tier, like higher threats, tier threats on my team. And it actually works really well for the with the next Pokemon too, as I'm, I'm going to tell in a second, but um, yeah, Screamtail at 12 points, pretty nice pick. Obviously, it's supposed to be a Forgus originally, but it is what it is. Next, we got some familiarity again in the draft. Um, I decided to grab my Poison Dark Alone Muck. Um, I, as soon as Forgus went got taken, I, I realized I feel like I really wanted, um, and I decided to go with Screamtail. I knew I wanted Alone Muck on this team. Um, it gives me a really good ghost switch in, um, which is like the big thing. Um, just because right now I have Screamtail, Annihilate, and um, Iron Boulder weak to ghost. Obviously, Terra, uh, Iron Boulder will Terra, but still, um, I really like the Pursuit at Trap aspect of this, and I really like the knockoff um, ability on this Pokemon because right now, at the moment, I believe I don't have any knockoff Pokemon, um, which I felt like I really needed for the team. So that's something to keep in mind, but. Yeah, I think this really gives support, especially with the fact that I have Wish support with it now, which is really good from Screamtail. Um, I feel like this can function really well with this team. <coughs> um, you, uh, if you've watched like the last league I did, you already know kind of what a little Muck does. Um, really good Spit F Mon, um, Pursuit Trap knockoff, like anti setup as well with like Clear Smog Haze. Um, <coughs> yeah, Lone Muck's just a really good Pokemon here, and I really liked. Um, what it brought to the team at least so something to keep in mind um yeah so after that pick happened i had a thought i had a whole plan and wasn't sure about the plan because my ground type was going to be trappage on that plan um i believe i was going to take actually i'm not going to take because i did keep part of uh, some of the plan but um yeah that was supposed to my. I was supposed to get. I was gonna get Pelipper again. Um, is one thing I'll say. Um, it was supposed to be. I was supposed to get Pelipper again to give me a defog option, because at the moment I don't have any removal at the moment. Um, and I was supposed to get Trap Pinch as my ground type because of the points that were allowed, <laughs> which would have been like not great, but manageable. Because I had like pretty. Uh, with my plan, I had like really good electric resist and immunities but um not immunities uh resist more like yeah um but we went a different direction because this pokemon was still around i feel like it was a more uh reliable remover was kind of scenario and it gave me an actual ground type um that i felt like i could really use it and that is dawn fan now dawn fan is really good on this team i feel like because of the fact that um Rapid Spin, Earthquake, another form of priority, an Ice Shard. Um, it's really good on the Fizz Def side, which is really nice to pair with like a Lone Muck and Screamtail kind of situation. Uh, with Screamtail pa was passing to them. Um, it gets Roar too for like phasing as well. It gives me another knockoff user, which is really good because I really wanted some knockoff users for uh, things like Palafin and Annihilate. And yeah, it gives me a. Uh, it gives me. Spin was like the big thing, the hazard removal aspect. Obviously, my team isn't weak at all right now to rocks, but um, I didn't want to deal with spikes. 
uh, and in case of sticky webs, even though I do have an annihilate with defiant, they could still bring sticky webs. So I uh, opponents could still bring sticky webs. So I have I want a rapid spin on Dawn Fan for that. So yeah, um, something to keep in mind though. But yeah, I really like Dawn Fan in this position. Um, I think it's really solid for us. It's a really good ground type, um, and it does help out uh, specifically with taking certain hits on our team. And yeah. Then comes my next pick, and I know Crypto's been waiting, probably, if Crypto's watching this video, I know he's been waiting this entire draft for this pick, um, partly because, you know, you'll see in a second why, if you know Crypto, but on top of that, it was very underpriced, like very underpriced um, in this draft, I was so shocked to see it, and it gives me a really good, like, special attacker on the team, um... So, yeah, we'll go into the next pick because this Pokemon adds just so much to my team, and that is Mega Ampharos. Now, Mega Ampharos was at three points, which was, like, criminal. I was like, yo, please. Um, it hits so hard on the special side. And on top of that, like, in this format, it, still, it got buffed with Hidden Power as well, so now it can hit, like, ground types as well better than it had before. So that's something to keep in mind. But it hits like a truck um gets like good utility as well like heal bell as well it's really bulky too it gives me another flying resist too um and this was actually originally on my plan too with the pelipper plan too but um yeah this it gives me a really good resist uh, specifically for helping out palafin um and for uh switching into like what flying and electric types right so I don't think I really have to worry too much about electric types. I have some really good switch-ins here with Shaman, Mega Ampharos, and Dolphin now on the team. But um, yeah, it gives me a more of a special presence on the team, and it hits like a truck. Base 165 special attack, if I remember correctly. Yeah, um, it definitely could put a lot of pressure on our opponents with that. And then as well with having... Uh, Mold Breaker, which is really nice to hit, like, through certain stuff. Um, specifically, like, for Absorb Mons. Yeah, um, it also got some, like, interesting moves. I'm pretty sure it didn't... I don't know if it had Dazzling Gleam before Gen 9, but... Because I don't really remember that, but... Um, yeah, I feel like it got some good stuff. Um, it has ways to set up now, too, which is really nice. But, yeah, uh, I really liked uh, Mega Ampharos on this team. I feel like it felt really, it fit really well, and it was a, such a steal for three points. So, yeah. That comes into my next pick, which I got sniped on. And so I actually had to draw on the draft a little bit because I was out during this pick. Um, during, like... When I right when I got when I got sniped, I, I was like leaving, so I was like, well, I uh, I'm gonna be gone. So sorry if I'm drowning, but <laughs> uh, I don't have a plan now um, to fix like the Pokemon I got sniped, and that Pokemon I got sniped was Mantine at three points, which I thought was a steal as well. Um, I feel like it gave me a, a remover option. It gave me a really bulky flying type, um, which I I really liked as well. Um, gave me a water immunity for Palafin, so Scald isn't so free to, free against it kind of situation. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, that got sniped, and I ended up grabbing the other Pokemon that was part of that plan, um, just because I like I was like, well, they're gonna have to like we're, I kind of want to move our, people are gonna want to move along with the draft. The draft is almost done. I only have three more picks left. Some people only have two more picks, um, or one more pick, I believe, at this point. So, like, I was like, you know what, let's just pick this. Um, it fills out some very necessary um, roles on the team. It gives me a spinner, it gives me a hazard stack, it gives me momentum, um, which, like, those are, like, the really big things I really wanted out of the, uh, this Pokemon here that I'm picking. Uh, and it was already planned to be with picked with, uh, on my original draft plan anyway, so... Yeah, uh, welcome back, Fortress, to the team. Um, if you remember from WPF, it did pretty well from when I, whenever I brought it. It did what it needed to do. It only, uh, it only um, got knocked out once. So, yeah. But Fortress gives me like really good utility. It was like the big thing: Rapid Spin, Volt Switch, um, Hazard Stack, which I really like with ha the Hazard Stack with Annihilate because of the spin blocking potential plus um, uh, the what's it called? 
um, uh, Defiant, so that was something to keep in mind. Um, I also really like this because this brings in fire types a lot of times. I can get Volt Switch out into Palfin on them um, and put on some huge pressure onto the, the team. It also gives me a, like an even better Grass uh, switch in than I already had. Um, specifically if like a Morphous Death one because I already have like Shaman, Alone Muck, and Mega Amphros now for Grass switch ins, but now I have Fortress as well. Um, yes, it is weak to Hidden Power Fire, but I felt like with my team, I wasn't going to use it in a way that was going to take on special attackers, I think, with the way my team was, I think, was going to function, at least, at the moment. Um, but yes, I do have to scout out for Hidden Power Fire as well, so I need to keep that in mind. But yeah, um, that is Fortress here. Uh, I feel like it's going to put in a lot of... Uh, it's going to do what it needs to do when it comes each week. Uh, it was nice at six points, so... Then comes my area of where what I'm going to do with my with replacing Bantine. Um, I got back, did some thinking. I was looking at things right, like the big one. I was looking at um, there's a couple I was looking at. There was Altaria, uh, regular Altaria, but I was like, and eh, that's not great. Like Mantine was so much better than that. I, I don't know if Altaria is that great for that. Um, another was another one I was looking at was like um, Zatu. Um, cause originally I was going to get Mantine in a one point mod cause I had four points left at this point in the draft. Um, but then I was like, uh, Altaria's not great. I could use the four points on Zatu, but then that gives me, uh, three psychic types. And I was like, even though one's going to Terra, so I wasn't a big fan of that. Um, um, for flying types, there wasn't much else other than when I noticed this Pokemon sitting at two points. Um, which I felt was really nice uh, utility, at least on the team. It gives me removal, it gives me momentum, it gives me like <laughs> taunt as well, which I really like um, to help with like so uh, stopping things from doing stuff, certain stuff against me. I know Sketch really loves this pick. Um, I feel like it has a lot of um, it has a lot uh, ability to do a lot of different things. I think. Um, and a really good support option for the team. So with our next pick, we end up grabbing Golbat. Now, Golbat is a obviously it does rely on Evilite a lot, but I felt like um it was really good on this team. I don't think like I'm too weak to knock off to begin with anyway. Um, but I feel like this was fit with the team really well with like U-turn momentum, um, defog shenanigans. I actually kind of like in its own way, like this might have been like a better pick than Mantine on my team, to be honest, because it gives me an, another fairy resist. Um, since like right now, my only fairy resist was Fortress, since a little muck is neutral to it, right? So I feel like this at least gives me another option, uh, gives me another option to take on fairies as well. And um, even though it's another poison type on our team. Golbat and Alomuk don't share any weaknesses at all, which is crazy because of the just the typing since Alomuk's only weak to ground and Golbat's immune to that. And um, the psychic, the poison type of Golbat is weak to psychic, which Alomuk is immune to that. So that's something to keep in mind. So I really like this. Uh, I really like this pick here. Uh, it gives me like a a pretty good defogger at the moment. Um, and yeah. So and I don't think I'm weak to rocks at the moment anyway so i'm more worried of like spikes and sticky webs so that's this is kind of like a pretty good pick for that um but yeah so that's something to keep in mind the final pick for the draft may end up changing this um but i end up going with a pokemon here to try to help with my type weakness a little bit um just a little bit i realized i was a little weak to ice at the moment um, not too bad, but like, it could be fixed a little bit at least. So that was something to keep in mind. Um, some of the things I was looking at in the tier, the two point tier was like Lapras. Um, I was looking at Wobbuffet actually. I really wanted to get Wobbuffet, um, cause I thought that was going to pair. That was my original plan was to get Wobbuffet paired with like, uh, Iron Boulder cause it could allow me to get set up shenanigans with Iron Boulder. Um, which I still might do. I like I still have time. The grace period hasn't ended at the um, moment, so I could still do that. But at the moment, I'm gonna stick with this Pokemon. 
Um, I could have grabbed Lapras, um, which was like something I really considered, and I was talking to Porpoise about it. Um, and another one was I was looking at Wall Rain. I was looking at Ice Q. I was looking at like Flareon as well because I don't have a Fire type on my team um, at the moment. So those were some of the things I was looking at at least right now, and I end up going for. Uh, Flareon's cousin. Uh, we got Glaceon here for the last pick of the draft. Um, felt like it was pretty good for a pick here. Um, the big thing I really liked was like um, it's able to pressure like the water types that usually want to deal with like the the, the water types that are usually immune to Palafin don't want to deal with Glaceon. Um, it gives me Wish support, Baton Pass, Heal Bell. Um, it's it got buffed because of Hidden Power being allowed. Um, it's another, it's a f ice resist as well, but it also hits extremely hard too. Base 130 special attack. So those are kind of like some of the things I was looking at, but I may still switch this out. Um, if I do, I will let you, I'll let you know week one or wh whatever that happens. But yeah, this is what we went with. Um, obviously I can't run snow cloak on it, so it's going to be running ice body the entire time, but yeah, I feel like it was like not a bad pick here. Um, I obviously there could have been better picks, but I feel like this gives me like a another special attacker that hits hard with hidden power. I think it could really put on some pressure on Pokemon because uh, ice plus terror uh, plus hidden power ground really nice kind of situation. Um, of course, ice resist, wish support, heal bell, roar. Um, yeah, I felt like this was a pretty good pick here. Yeah, so that's the squad we are running with this season. Um, at least until, unless I decide to make transactions at least. Uh, obviously, there are some glaring weaknesses that I do know about. But I think we'll be alright. Um, this is what uh, we this is what happened when uh, the budget got crazy with the terrorists. So I had to, I guess, like concede on some weaknesses because at, at some point there's going to uh, there's going to have to be some weaknesses on the team so um especially with snipes happening um that is what it is but i feel pretty good about the team um and i think this could put this team could put in a lot of work but i really am more of just excited to try out iron tear iron boulder because i've been like really looking at like ever since like um Ever since like the first league of DLC two, I was like, "Whoa, this thing could be really cool to use um, on the team." So I'm really, I'm just really excited to be able to use that, and then also Mega Amphros. Uh, very, I'm very excited to use that as well. Um, it's gonna be an interesting season. I want to also thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, bash out.